Now then, my friends, I'm in Torremolinos again for a change. However, today we're going to get the train and we're going to head to Fuengarola because we're going to do something really, really Spanish. We're going to go for fish and chips at uh, Crispy Cod, which has been recommended to me by you, my friends. So we're going to head over there. We're going to mark it out of 10. We're going to check it out. I've been for fish and chips on this uh, trip already to a place called, well, what was it called? You can let me know in the comments, I can't remember. Bonanza, that was it. And it was less than to be desired, let's say. But today I'm told these are fantastic. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to having a little walk around in Fuengarola as well. I've not been since I was about, crikey, 15 years old, which is uh, too many years to mention. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Was English saying it's too hot, it's too hot, and then when we get back to England, we whinge it's too cold. Um, anyway, we've got the train station behind us right there. Uh, I've said this in a previous vlog, but for people that uh, haven't seen that vlog, um, you can basically just tap to enter and use Apple Pay, Android Pay if you've got an Android phone, unfortunately, um, and uh, easy. We're not going into that, uh, or you can use your uh, contactless anyway. However, I was with a couple last night who told me, and I don't know whether I haven't verified this, but you might be able to tell me. Apparently you can buy a card from one of the shops here somewhere uh, and it gets you so many train trips and then when you've used them train trips they give you your money back for the value of the card. Let me know in the comments section if there's any uh, any truth in that. I don't know if that's what they told me and uh, I, I, I'm, I'm sure they wasn't fibbing to me but because uh, I got on really well with them. But. Who told them? Let me know. Just verify in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm going to use my Apple Pay. Come on. Oh, I'm taking the moving stairs today. Elevate, moving stairs, elevators, what do you call them? I never know what to call these. I get confused. Moving, moving steps, things, whatever. Anyway, let's get through. I can't believe I actually contemplated walking that um, from Torremolinos. I thought, you know what, I'll walk it. Somebody said they've walked it. That would have took ages. Um, anyway, normally I'd have a quick wander around, but I, I'm a bit peckish to tell you the truth. So I reckon we're just going to go to Crispy Cod first for the fish and chips, and then we'll have a little mooch around, a little explore. So uh, come on, onwards. I don't know whether it's just me. Um, immediate reactions of Fuengarola. I mean, don't forget, I haven't been here since I was about 15. Um, and I just went to a 
the resort, I think it stayed in the resort, uh, in the pool as you do when you're 15. Um, but it's got more of a, and I know we're in Spain, but it's got more of a Spanish vibe about it, do you know what I mean? Rather than like a holiday destination. I like it, I like it so far. First impressions, come on. I'm not sure what the actual law is here with the uh, pedestrian crossings, but the green man was on and the cars keep coming. Is it like it is in uh, New York where they just, it's just any man for himself, sorry, any person for themselves. Can't say that now, can you? Well, I can, any man for himself, because I'm a man. Come on, onwards. I have to say, I do, love exploring new places i mean it's totally different to the to well to torre molinos and to ben El medina it's really really nice here walk through about five or six streets now and you've just get that vibe it's i'm liking it already i, I i'm not massively keen i have to say and i've said it before and it could be i'm gonna get hammered by people who love it not massively keen on torre molinos ben El medina very nice this place so far is topping it. Come on. I guess the big thing is, are the fish and chips at the crispy cod going to be better than uh, the ones in Ben El Medina at Bonanza? I mean, they can't be much worse really, can they? So uh, sorry Bonanza, but they weren't great. Come on. she was having an afternoon siesta then on her uh, moped but she was got her head down reading her phone I thought that's an odd place to have an afternoon sleep right I'm not making this up it, it's just killed the Spanish five for me but I did have to giggle uh, and I, I gave me a smile on my face There's this lovely old couple looking in the window of this restaurant looking at the menu as I walked by and he said, here you are, Alice, what about, what about in here? Shall we go in here? And she went, oh no, it's a bit, it's a bit expensive. Let's have a look around and do our homework first, Arthur. So that, and he's like, oh, we're on holiday, we're on holiday. He's like, ah, but let's just do his homework first. And then they poddled on. I thought, it just made me giggle. I thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, come on onwards. And if you're watching, Arthur, you're under the thumb, mate. Put your foot down. We I mean, like a decisive guy, someone with a bit of power, you know. Hang on a minute, Sarah's ringing me. Hello? Hi? I'm just in, I'm just in, he's doing what? I, let, I'll tell you what, just hold it. All right, yeah, no, no. Yes, yes, definitely. All right, just one second, up, ah, onwards. I'm, I'm just filming something. Yes. Yes, definitely. No, I agree. I, I agree. Okay, bye. Bye. Love you too. Mwah, mwah. Bye. 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 Right. Okay. So, dominant. That's that's what women, women like. Dominant. Anyway, let's get these fish and chips. I am getting a bit hungry now. Love these back streets. I can see the sea from here. Um, as I say, it's fantastic. Loving the vibe, and we'll have a little mooch around after. So, uh, come on, onwards. Right, it's telling me I've come a bit too far onto the seafront, so that way, back where we came and back the street. Come on. Yeah. Tell you what, Apple Maps, you're gonna have to sort your stuff out because it's saying it's here and it's it's not. It's a rent a car and a pharmacy. So Google Maps it is. Come on. You know, it's saying it is on the front. Somebody said to me the other day, why are you using Apple Maps? Whoever that was, you're right. Why am I using Apple Maps? Because obviously they're not that accurate, are they? Google, there you go. I should have known. Anyway, Google are better. Come on, it's down here apparently. Let's see if Google are right. I don't even need to know it's here. I can smell it. 
Here we are, crispy cod, traditional fish and chips. Now this looks the business. Right, well they do sell beer here, but I'm not having a beer because it's daytime and uh, I've got work to do. So I'll have my Pepsi Max, which I know is bad for you. Um, have a look at the menu, my friends. I'm gonna, I think I might go for the smaller one today. I don't know, we'll see how I feel. I might just go for small fish and chips. I only need to taste it, don't I? You know what, I reckon I'm gonna go for the lunchtime special. Medium battered cod, chips, mushy peas, bread, and butter, soft drink, uh, which I've got a soft drink. I wonder if that includes Diet Coke. Uh, but I'm gonna have a curry sauce as well. Uh, if they do a curry sauce, I'm presuming they do. Is it on the menu? Did you see it on the menu? I don't know whether they do actually. Um, surely they've gotta do a curry sauce on there. I shall ask them. Can't see it on there, but side of oh we've got bread and butter oh yeah curry sauce there we go so i do a side of curry sauce as well uh because we always test that out don't we it's standard standard see you in a minute right my friends well first impressions it looks excellent got the chips there nice and golden the fish uh, we've got, got golden batter on there, nice and crispy. The plate was hot as well, which is a nice sign. I like that, keeps the food warm, especially when I'm doing the B-roll. Uh, the curry, uh, not uh, congealed at all. Looks really good. Nice slice of bread there as well. So before we go any further, just take a closer look, my friends. Right, okay, so um, we'll go in for this. Let's cut the uh, cod open there. The fish, nice crispy batter. Very hot, which is good. There you go. There's the fish inside there. Have a look at that. Excellent. Uh, got a few people in here. Right, here we go. Let's go in for the fish. Batter looks good. No pressure, I've got the owner sat behind me there from London, but and he's having fish and chips, so I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> um, right, here we go. That tastes very nice, yeah, that's nice. Now, remember, this is not a large fish, I've gone for the the meal deal. Um, I didn't want to walk around stuffed. There's nothing worse. I'm going to go for the peas. Now they're nicer peas. Got a bit of a slight, a bit of a salty taste to them. I like them. Right, go for the chip. Let's try that curry sauce now. There we go. Let's see if it's got a kick to it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Uh, actually, it has. Here we go. Took took a little bit. Yeah, that has got a bit of a kick to it. Right. They've even got their own little labels on the tartar sauce there, and they did have it on the ketchup, but I think it's. Uh, 
fell off, but there we go. Um, I want a bit of tartar sauce on the side, actually, you know. I like a bit of tartar sauce. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little uh, chip butty, right? So, let's get some chips on here. Let's get a few chips on there. Okay. Here we go. And then I'll tell you what we'll do. Whack a few peas on there, right? There we go. Stick a few peas on there. Oh, 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 fell off a bit. There we go. A few peas on there. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. Some of you is going to say this is sacrilege, but... Just coming out. Brand new. There you go. Trying to trick me. Brand new sauce. I guess that's a good sign. So, got a new sauce on there. Shake it up. Get a little bit of ketchup on there like that. <laughs> and then... Tell you what I'll do then. Whack a little bit of curry sauce on there as well. Okay. Some of you's going, oh, what's he doing? But some of you's going, oh yeah, get it down, your son. Right, there we go. A little bit messy. Hmm. Wow, yeah. That is the spot. Right, I'm going to eat these, come back to you, and then mark them out of 10. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Don't forget you're marking them out of 10 as well, on cost and on look. And um, my facial expressions, which are, so far, I'm liking them. They're nice. So I'll see you in a minute. I tell you what I'm really enjoying these hence the clean plate so um, I'm gonna eat the rest of them and we'll have a mooch around um, Fuengarola I'll meet you guys outside uh, and we'll mark it up out there um, interesting one uh, but I'm, I'm enjoying them and, uh, and I can tell you that they're way better than the, uh, what I had at um, Bonanza uh, a different league very nice so I'll see you guys outside see you in a minute Okay, let's get down to business then, shall we? Thoroughly enjoyed them, I have to say. Really nice. Um, the fish, the batter was great. Uh, the fish tasted very, very tasty. Um, and it wasn't wet like the other place. It wasn't a wet fish. Um, God, it's windy, getting sand in my eyes. Um, the chips, maybe a little bit thin. However, um, somebody did say in the comment section they don't have the same potatoes as we do over in the UK. So uh, again, they were slightly different to what we'd have in the UK. You can't really, none of these food reviews I'm marking, it's a separate, this is a separate uh, score system over here, because it is different. You're not gonna find proper English fish and chips as good as you do back in the UK. However, I have to say again, I'm gonna hold my camera down there. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, really nice. Uh, staff was uh, exceptionally friendly. Uh, the owner, they were from London, which did, uh, I thought at first, I thought, ah, 
London, yeah, you're not good at making fish and chips, are you really, in London? It's the northerners that are better at making fish and chips, but credit where credit's due. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The only thing that did um, get me a little bit was there was a, a chip out of the plate, and I don't mean a chip as in a fish and chip, there was a chip out of the plate. Seems to be a theme this, uh, this um, trip, doesn't it? Because uh, it's the same thing that happened to me at the steak place. Um, so a slight little chip out of the plate there. Um, and that does my head in. Just throw the plate away when you get a chip in it because it harbours germs. Uh, but other than that, the price comes to 15.45, including one free Pepsi Max, and I had another Pepsi Max for 2.50. The curry sauce was very tasty. Wasn't congealed like the last place. Peas very nice actually. Quite saltiness to them and a bit of a bit of there was a twist to them. I can't remember what it. I don't know what it was. A bit, a bit more salty, but like the peas. Um, and even though the chips were a bit thin, they were tasty. Uh, all in all, thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah. I mean, score-wise, I can't give it a 10 because of the chip out of the plate, but I, but I would go back. Um, in fact, if I, was, if I was in Fuengarola, yeah, I'd be in there uh, most weeks. So I'm going to go with a... Oh, come on, help me out in the comments section. I'm going to get, don't mark it, don't mark it by the way, the fish and chips compared to me, you're never going to get the same, but they're a close, they're a close second. Um, I'm going to go with a nine, how's that? There we go, I reckon that's that. spot on. Crispy cod. For the people that recommended that to me, thanks very much, because it's a great place. So if you're in Bell Medina or you're in um, Torremolinos, then get on the train and pop down to Crispy Cod. Uh, in Fuengarola and have a look around. See some different sites as well. We're going to have a little wander around now as well, so don't go anywhere because um, we're going to have a little mooch up and down the uh, seafront and uh, see what's what before we uh, sign off. So come on, onwards. I've got to say though, it did make me laugh how the owner, because um, there was the, there was a young lad there who was from West London or something, a girl who was from East London or South London or I can't remember, and then obviously they were younger and then I think it was their dad that came in who was the owner, and he sat right behind where I was filming, and I said he didn't tell me who he was at first, and I said, uh, "Are you having fish and chips?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, I don't have them very often, otherwise, uh, you know." I'd be uh, putting too much weight on. I went, all oh, right. And I mentioned the sticker about it having crispy cod, and he went, oh, yeah, we haven't made. And I said, oh, you haven't made? He said, yeah, yeah. So I said, you're the owner. He was like, yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering. I thought he's sat, but he never, I never saw him have any fish and chips. And I just thought, was he just sat there just listening to what I was saying? But I'm always honest if he's watching and they did recognize who I was, then uh, credit where credit's due. You had nothing to be worried about. Just get rid of that blooming plate with the chip in it. The only chips that you want on the plate are of a potato kind. Chuck the plate, could have had a 10. Come on. So we're gonna to go to a place now called Fish Alley, which um, Kevin from um, Scotsman in Tenerife told me about. He says, if you search the Temple Bar, uh, that's right in the middle of it. So we're gonna have a wander over there and look at Fish Alley. So uh, she's trying to get out of the sun a minute. It's absolutely, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. <laughs> hey, now here's one for you. See the mobility scooters there, right? That you get like in Benidorm and stuff. If they were now in Wales, they'd be overtaking the cars, wouldn't they? Controversial. Right, so that's the temple bar behind me, so I'm guessing uh, we're right in the middle of it right now. Thanks to uh, Scotsman in Tenerife there. Don't forget, head over to his channel if you're not subscribed. I'll put his link on the end and down below. He's been very helpful for me uh, on this trip and give me lots of places and things to see and do because he's been here and uh, he's got if, places that I've missed. Head over to his channel and have a look. He wanders around and he goes around everywhere. So uh, check that out. Right, come on, onwards. 
you know, there's always a story to tell. Sound like Max Bygraves there. Eh? Yeah, I want to tell you a story. When there's a bottle of alcohol and a pair of um, bo men's boxer shorts uh, in basically a, a plant pot. Have a look. So you tell me the story behind that. Why has he left? Why has he left his boxer shorts and uh, there's a bottle of alcohol? Well, what's the story behind that one? Let me know in the comment section down below. I don't know why, but these kind of boats behind me, these yachts or boats or whatever, these big boats, reminds me of, like, first of all, like, you remember Duran Duran? Where they, was it Rio? Was it Rio where he's hanging on to the front of the boat or whatever? And also James Bond as well. James Bond's, you know, they're on them, but they're always on boats like this. In fact, I'm pretty sure somebody told me there's a boat in the marina in Benel Medina that was in James Bond, apparently. Or did I dream that? Let me know again in the comments section down below. Now that is a cool car. Yes! <laughs> that one and earlier on, did you see the Jag as well? The classic Jag. Jag. <laughs> More fish and chips. Ah, surely can't be as good as the crispy cod, can it? Have you been there, portside fish and chips? Let me know in that comment section. <laughs> Blimey, it is a warm one. I think I'm gonna to have to stop for a, uh, hello? <laughs> I think I'm gonna to have to stop for a uh, a drink. I'm parched. It's thirsty work, this, you know. Oh, right. Got myself a cafe con leche uh, and a diet coke, which I know is bad for you, but I don't want to drink beer in the daytime. To be fair, um, it throws me while I'm working. I like to keep a clear clear vision, you know. Anyway, let's try the cafe con leche. Oh, that's good. I'm awake now. Right, I'm just going to relax and just watch my surroundings. Not even going to read my mobile phone. I've got it on charge, but I'm just going to I'm just going to relax and watch the world go by. A lot of us nowadays will sit down, get on our mobile phones, and start texting and stuff. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to people watch for a bit. So I'll see you guys back outside. Right, my friends. Well, I tell you what, that was a nice little rest. I enjoyed that. Just people watching. Uh, it's the first time I've taken about uh, half an hour out, just doing nout, doing nothing, just watching the world go by, and it was nice. It's nice to switch off, isn't it, from um, your devices? But you do get, I do get a bit like, oh, has anybody messaged? Do you know what I mean? At the end, normally I've got my watch on as well, but I'm trying to get this bit tanned. It's gone two, t it's two tone now red and brown anyway so there you go that was fish and chips fish and chip shop the crispy cod in fuengarola um i like fuengarola i like the back streets a little bit more when i first got off of the actual um, train i thought it was nice got a nice vibe about it the the seafront eh, pretty much the same as every other one isn't it but i do i like it and the fish and chip shop was great fish and chips were fantastic anyway it's getting very windy. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I had a little mooch around as well. It's not really all about the fish and chips, is it? It's just a, it's a bit of a trip and seeing different things. And I hope it brings a bit of sunshine into your life. I hope you enjoyed it. Join me in the next one. And uh, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and maybe think about subscribing. It costs you nout. It's free to subscribe. I've even got Yorkshire people who subscribed. So it's got to be good value for money. In fact, it's free, so there is no... 
There is no money. Anyway, I'm babbling now. I'm off. I'm going to get the train. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Normally I walk off, but it's windy and it might blow over.